Hey everybody from all over the world, all walks of life, all nationalities and all cultures. Thank you for stopping by. You're very welcome here. So, the other week I had a question off one of my subscribers asking me how do I select you know, multiple open faces or holes, whatever. I guess you could just add, I, want to, I want to say faces um, and fill them in at once. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit mode, go into edge mode, then go to select, select by all by trait, non manifold, then press F to fill them in. Okay, so now we need to clean this topology up a little bit because there is there are a lot of edges missing here. So go into vertice mode, select this vertice, hold down shift and choose this one, then press J. Same here, hold on shift, press J. Same for this one, J, this one, J. Okay. And we're gonna do the same down here. Choose this vertice, hold on shift, choose that one. Repeat. As you can see, the topology is starting to get a little bit messy now. And that's because we filled that open face over a large curved area. And if we come out of um, edit mode and then turn on shade flat, like that, we can see that that looks quite messy. Okay. Now, how do we go about fixing this? How do we make this jagged um, topology flow nicely like the topology surrounding it. So what I like to do is I like to come over here and select my cube. Well it's not a cube anymore. It looks like it got looks like a piece of clay that got harassed. <laughs> Move it across. <laughs> Sorry. I make my, myself laugh sometimes. Um move it across. Right click set origin to 3D cursor. Okay, come over here. Add modifier mirror okay now basically i'm gonna you know we want to work on this area so what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to come up here click and then drag this across by the way if you if your mirror is like looking like this just choose a different axis because if you notice we're actually going along the um x so we need to choose X here. Okay, so now we're going to zoom in on this one and we're going to work on this one. So um, you can just hold down, move this across like that. Okay, come into edit mode. And you know, we're going to go back and forth between uh, edit mode. Okay, so Let's see where we can begin. Hold down control and middle mouse to zoom in incrementally like that. And we can see that this is quite a massive area. It kind of swoops around then dints in, dints out, then swoops around again. So this is a vertice that we need to move on the, these faces are on the Y axis. So zoom in, go into edit mode, choose this vertice and keep an eye on what's going on over here. So press G, Y, and then use the arrows, the left and right arrows, sorry. Proportional editing needs to, turn, needs to be turned off because I turned it on for a previous project that was not related to, to this one at all. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, G, Y, then use the left and right arrow keys to tap it out until it sort of flows like that until we have this nice curve. Okay, we've got the same problem here, because if you notice this, dings in quite a lot as well. So GY, bring it out while using the arrow keys. All right, so it... One thing that I will advise you is that when you get more used to this, you get like a gut instinct. You, you know, you get this feeling in your gut that says, yeah, that's perfect, you know, that that's right. Um, the more that you get used to topology flow and such, you get like this gut instinct that kind of says, yeah, that's great to stop there. 
with um, the moving of the topology and vertices. Now something's going on here. There's another bit of a dent. So I'm going to choose this one and then press GY and move it out a little bit like that. Move the one next to it as well because yeah, probably I believe that's that one. Yeah. So GY tap prints out as well. That's a bit too far. I'd say for me that's pretty good. Okay. Now this one, if you notice, is it's not faceted, it's not smooth. So we know that something's going on here. So that would be this vertice here. Because this, this should be faceted like all the rest of them. So go into edit mode, and it's probably this one here, probably this vertice here. Again, keeping an eye on this one over here, we're going to press GY and move it out like that. Now that looks all good and stuff, but it kind of dents downwards now. Um, let's just see what we feel. I mean, it looks good. I mean, I'll, I'd feel better if this was nudged up a little bit. So what we can do is we can press go over here to the, and go into the same vertice that's denting down a little bit. Press G and then G again. G, G. Then move it up. Hold on shift and move it up a little bit like that. There we go. Shift will pretty much just move it slowly. So if you press GG and move it like that, it's going to be quite fast. But if you press GG, then hold on shift, it'll move it a lot more slowly for you. Okay, and then what we can do is come out of edit mode, right click and then go to shade smooth. Like that. There. This not look lovely, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was Bob Ross or the Joker. Do you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. I think if I do, I too much coffee. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, um, then please leave a comment in the comment section. Very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and um, delete this mirror modifier. Click on this. Press Shift C to center it up again, then zero everything out. Zero, zero, boom. There we go, bish, bash, bosh, Macintosh. All good to go. And we're only seven minutes in. Mission accomplished. Right, I hope you have a fantastic day. And, you know, please know that I believe in you and I believe in your dreams. I believe what you want to accomplish um, as a 3D model artist or we you know whichever adventure you're going on I believe in you and never give up on your dreams always keep fighting to pursue them and yes have a fantastic day and I will see you next time <laughs>